Hey, love bus is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and how they get ready. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful fans. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to see the unseen, um, knowing that we are not alone, we're all working as a beautiful empath family, you know, trying to get to a better tomorrow. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload a next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if you write, write down a couple of lines, give me a positive feedback for the content of my video. Or you just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted your life, and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even if I'm an empath, they're really going through some dark moments right now. Um, I'm about to say dark times, but dark moments right now. Um, or they're trying to find their soul, purpose, divine past, or even life past. Uh, please go ahead and share on why you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today is for relaxing meditation, which this is about to make me honestly. Uh, it's so relaxing. Um, it's like 11 o'clock at night while I'm doing these. Um, it's uh, 528 hertz love frequency awaken your love unconditional love real love and i will post that in the link uh in the description box below it made me think about that song by mary j blige real love i ain't heard that in a minute um uh the video i'm doing today is twin flame 101 hey because during this dark moment stay focused on your dreams and blessings rather than the problems at hand uh, we really do. It's true. You know, we're all going through something. You know, every day is a daily struggle for us to try to get over one thing. And as soon as you get over that one thing, a whole little old, old something come out from a long, 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 long time ago and come back just to see if you're going to get triggered. You know, we have to go through all these. It's like a spiritual awakening condition, um, conditioning, um, ascension conditioning, kundalini, all these different things. We're, we're dealing with and it's like more more memories more past vomit is coming back <laughs> you know it because we have pushed it aside we have ignored it um not facing it and just turned our back on it all these different things but you know you're heading towards something that you truly want in your life and i know you're like rosalyn you almost said you said this but when source and them tell me this is what they want me to talk about this is what we need to talk about because there's so many different things that has happened to us and you know while you're heading towards these things the devil is trying to beat that monkey on your back because you know you're heading towards something positive you know there's certain things in your life that you truly want you're getting signs all the time but it's a, either your faith is being shaky you know you're not believing it or it's just your thought process keeps going towards the negative or your responding is not as good as you're supposed to you're judging others you know allowing you know people's reflective insecurities you know um you know mess up your your you know your private space you know there's a lot of things we're still working on you know you know work in progress you know you have to be able to keep constantly going through these things until it's not affecting you anymore and you know it is like i said we're going through an empath boot camp that i mean it's really messing with us it's like bringing up bad emotions that you know it's taking you a long time to get through and don't be hard on yourself you know there's times i'm getting like Ugh, i should have been over this by now i don't know why it's you know so simple for me to get over this one thing you can't get over this you know and it, it, it there are certain things that i still you know um are still trying to get through you know there's certain things i'm still trying to let go of but right now i stay so focused you know i'm not gonna allow somebody's insecurities to puncture me i'm not gonna allow you know darkness 
keep attacking me and it throws me off course because that's what it wants you to do devil will come and bring everything he'll use all the armor of devil whatever the heck you want to call it just to steer you off your path not for you to lose focus on what you want you know bring back people from your past past you know triggering you from something that has messed you up the wrong way um dealing with daily things you know stuff start popping up in the daily that you know push you off path you know i've had that because it's like you know you get stressed out about one thing that vibration it can be so stuck on that one thing is bringing all negative energy towards you that you really need to let go of and it's like you know like i told y'all before it's like God and devil is playing hand in hand. You know, they're, you know he's tug of war on this side and tug of war on that one. And then he'll try to sit up here and say, you know, hey, you know, this person, if I throw this in their life, you know, I guarantee you they're going to deal with it and they're going to do this and they're going to do that. And God's like, no, nah, no, nah, you know, I don't work with them. I don't set my angels. I'm going to set my spirit guys and go help them. They're not going to go, you know. Uh, you put that in their life, they're not going to go towards the old person they were. They're, they're all new and on a different level. And those are kind of bets that they're throwing off. You know, we, we you know, they, you know, they throw bets on who's going to go this way and who's going to go that way. You know, but God has faith in us that, you know, we're going to get through that. We need to be able to have faith in ourselves that we're going to get through this. You know, and it could be the most littlest thing that's holding you back. Only person can hold you back from your situation is you. And I get aggravated with myself because I'm just like, you know, let this go. Don't let ego keep on bringing you down this road. You know, leave the death of that ego. I said, that, that thing, you know, ego coming back like Jason Voorhees, like, you don't never die, do you? You know, I'll be thinking I'm okay one day and then so you come popping up again. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Oh, no, you ain't. <laughs> you know, you going through stuff like that. You know, so it's just like you really have to be working on yourself and really get to this grind. And you got to be like one of them horses and put them reflectors on so you can just have this bird's eye view of just keeping focused. That's what you need to do because God, universe, source, creator, you know, spirit guides, ascended masters, archangels want you to be focused on your dreams. Don't focus on the things you don't want to have because those are the vibrations you're going to be sending from the universe. We got to be careful about, you know, what we project. Now, like, you know, a lot of us as empaths, we talk to ourselves. And there's a lot of times we'll be sitting up here talking to ourselves about the stuff we've been through instead of being, you know, there's times I don't sit up here and talk about the stuff I've been through towards myself and universe. But then I'm actually giving blessing and praise about the things that I'm accomplishing. You know, even though there's times it's like what you get in is what you get out. And it's like sometimes it's like that, but sometimes it's not because, you know, I don't pitch out a lot of, you know, positivity and all of a sudden I start getting all crap back. And I'm just like, hold up, this ain't what I pushed out. <laughs> Why am I getting this? You know, but that vibe was still there. And it's just like, even though you might be working on something positive in the back of that psyche, you still, that, that will still turn on that on that trauma that you went through and it's just like why am i allowing this trauma to get to me even though yeah it's messed up that these folks did that to you but you know when people do stuff in the dark to you and you feel like universe ain't getting at them they might allow may not allow you you know because it just depends on somebody's minds next uh minds mind whatever they set that's why i meant to say mindset you know they won't allow you to see the things that is coming back on them for what they did to you you know they allow you to see what they want you to see they probably catching it hard when they're around you and trust me i know that mess because it, it, it's just i used to get mad you know i'm like you know i'm, I'm getting it all type of way you know I'm, I'm getting stuff coming back at me just because i told tell that person to stop stepping over their boundaries stop disrespecting me stop talking to me you know i'm just you know, start clapping back, and all the bam, 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 you know, um, bad karma coming to me left and right, I'm just like, why don't the people that sit up here trying to piss me off, why don't they get that issue instead of me, yeah, they are getting it, y'all both getting it, but they just don't want you to see that, they don't want you to see that, so don't think, you know, they're getting away with stuff, yeah, they might, you know, used to irritate me when people can prey upon things. And y'all don't heard me say that because that mess is really like a thorn in my side. Like, dang, I would never do that to you. 
you know, I would pray that you don't get into danger other than praying that you can get it. Because I don't really, I love the fact that when I can see somebody that has worked so hard and they get rewarded with those things, I'm happy for them. But why? No, there's a lot of people that won't be in the same road as me because they don't want that. You know, there's a lot of people that will come into your life and be that supportive hater. You know, we have a lot of those, a supportive hater. Because as long as you're not coming in competition with them and you're not doing better than them, you're fine. But once you start doing better than them, oh, they're going to start throwing all type of, you know, energy your way, you know, being insecure, saying something, belittling you, disrespecting you, you know, throwing you off track for you to get, you know, sidetracked with what they got going on or, you know, put something in your mind and make you already paranoid. You have to be able to cut all that mess out. Because it's just like, you know, if you know you want those things, you can't be entertained by those little things. <laughs> don't, don't, mm, don't, don't pay attention. I have to tell myself that all the time. All the time. And it's just like sometimes we have to be able to block ourselves from certain people. Don't even let them come into that space. You know, I've done that. You know, I don't even let them get finished. Hey, uh-uh, bye. Because I know once you come back, you, 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 you no, no. No heck no. You know, I'm going on my you know, on my mission. I can't have you up in here throwing monkey wrenches into my project. You can't do that. You have to be able to focus on those things. You can't be focused on the problem that you're dealing with because sometimes there might not even be a problem there, but you're manifesting something that's not even there. You know, yes, there's some people that are, you know, doing stuff to you, but you can't stay focused on that. You can't they can't do what you don't allow. They can't do that. You know, once you don't give those things power, you'll be okay. You can't give that old trigger power because it's not happening to you no more. You can't, you know, um, the people that do those situations to you, if you cut them out your life, you shouldn't get mad about stuff like that no more. It's taught you a lot of valuable lessons. Yes, you went through a lot of things. But when you, once you cut those folks out of your life, why are you allowing yourself to keep going through that same scenario over and over again and reliving that pain all over again? I tell myself that all the time, especially if it's some people I don't even deal with no more. I, I'd be dead if I let you do that. So you have to do the same thing with yourself. If you know you're heading towards somewhere and you truly want that in your life, stay focused on the things that you want be careful of how you you present things in your mind because we talk to ourselves we need that expert's opinion when we talk to ourselves so be careful about the things that you have flowing through your mindset be careful what you project out you know be able to say you know what yes this did happen to me but it can't affect me anymore i won't allow it you have to keep telling yourself that until you believe it and i have to do the same thing too so don't think i'm not you know i'm telling you something ain't doing to myself i have to tell myself that on a daily basis because every time there's something that pop off it makes me go back to the certain things that you know if i this would never happen i would have never had this going no everything happened the way it was supposed to there's, you know, you can't go back in the past and change it because if it was, you know, everybody trying to change certain things, but it brought you to this moment to where you are now looking at things in a whole different way, having strength and, you know, strength and power towards the energies you hold to make you where you are today. So never regret those things, but don't allow yourself when you know you're heading towards bigger and better things and you got them signs from the universe coming like, hey, if you stay focused, you, you never know when, we, you know, it could be the next day. But that one little thing might pop off, might set you back for two weeks. So be careful with that. But I hope you were able to resonate with content of this video. This is going to be my last one because y'all are tired. It's almost like 1130 at night. You know, I rested today, so um, I didn't think I was going to do it, but I you know, last minute, went ahead and did it. So I hope you stay blessed. I hope you have a prosperous week. No, prosperous week. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Give me your input on this. And send out as much love and light as you possibly can. And my post notification goes to Darren Krauss, uh, Jabs Toys. And Stacy Folly, much love to you, and I will speak to you on my next video. If I get some out the next day, you'll see me next day. If not, it'll be the next one. So much love to you, Pete, and be wild.